Hello, I am Emily Judd. I am a freshman. Um, I am a secondary history education major. And I recently attended the Mirror Mirror Body Image Workshop. Um, this was a really great workshop. I learned a lot about kind of how we view ourselves um, and what society has done to that and the negativity um, a lot of people feel, including myself, about my body image really just based on what society and the media tells us we need to look like. Um, did I feel that our group achieved a true dialogue? I do. There was a lot of great input. Um, and it was actually kind of funny. It was half guys, half girls. It was about 50-50, which it apparently is kind of weird for that um, workshop. So it was really interesting hearing a lot from the guys' point of view versus the girls' point of view, kind of how they feel a lot of pressure to um, look a certain way. We talked a lot about having a lot of muscle, how guys feel the need to go to the gym and um, just get huge muscles based on what society um, tells them and what they think girls want them to look like. Um, and actually turned out had a lot to do with it. And then we got to hear the girls' side of view, um, just kind of... We talked a lot about Barbie um, and why we feel that we need to look like that and just kind of how unrealistic that is. Um, and so it was also interesting hearing from the guys what they look for in a girl, and it wasn't necessarily the Barbie. And then it was interesting from hearing the girl's point of view what they wanted in a guy. It wasn't necessarily the Ken Hulk type guy that um, they like to think. Um, I guess they don't like to think, but they do think. Um, some dynamics of our group are there some active voices yes there was one guy that was very outspoken um he shared a lot of his personal views on body image kind of how he felt what he has struggled with so that was really cool to hear um and were there more reserved voices there were um there were some that i think barely said anything at all but um I feel like everybody really got a lot out of it. I don't feel like anybody was reserved in the sense that they were like too good for it. I just think that some people naturally aren't as, as outspoken as others. Um, but I don't think that anybody felt oppressed in the dialogue. I think our leaders did a good job of kind of setting the tone of um, mutual respect, no judgment. And there really weren't any conflicting opinions and I think kind of with the dialogue like body image nobody's really gonna say um yeah nobody's really gonna have two contrasting of opinions just because that's not very political it's kind of just a personal thing and I think it's something that us as student body can be unified in um and that we all struggle with this it's kind of a universal struggle um so it's more of like how we can deal with this and as a society and as a student body how we can kind of reverse the bad stigmas about it. Um, so it's kind of like all of us kind of joined together and talked about working for a greater good and kind of getting rid of the negative things. It's, it's a really cool dynamic. Um, what role did I play? I had some good input, I think. Uh, I didn't feel nervous at all about voicing my opinions. Um, I, I had some good input. I wasn't afraid, but I also wasn't a conversation hog. Um, I'd say I played the middle road, in a sense. Um, why do I think this dialogue is a component of Library 100? I think it's really important that we get talking as a student, as a student body, um, and talking to different people too. I don't think there's one person in that room that was very much like another, and I personally didn't know anybody there, so it was kind of cool to reach out and be able to have intelligent conversation with people I've never seen before, may never see before, but just reaching different parts of our student body um, and different personalities, different interests. That was really neat that we could all talk about this one thing. Um, is it a useful tool in my university experience? I say definitely. Uh, it was really neat. Um, I now know how to have an intelligent dialogue as opposed to a debate, and that was cool to see the difference between the two of them. Um, and that it was neat that we were um, dialogue, you're just working and just kind of adding to a pile, not trying to like get at each other about anything or trying to woo anybody to one side. It was kind of like, here's a problem, let's talk together about how we can fix it. And I think that was definitely accomplished in our dialogue. Um, 
thoughts or observations. I liked it a lot. I think it wasn't a waste of my time at all. And I would probably definitely do it again. Thank you.